Hello everybody, welcome back. I've got a new map and I've rebranded my channel. And I'm sorry if I have a little uh, Barry White action on me, but that's because I'm sick and I took a sick day off work. Now you may know that I've destroyed my previous soldering iron, the one that I've said is the best thing you can buy. I was searching for a new one and my fellow countrymen I need this box. Let's see. Let's see what's in the box. Okay, let's open it. It's a new soldering station. Okay. It is a Yahua 937D soldering station. And I've tried searching for it uh, on AliExpress and Alibaba and stuff like that. I couldn't find it. This must be some older model or something. The reason why I bought it is that a fellow countryman of mine just wanted to get rid of it. And he, he just sold me this soldering station for $18. And he just didn't sell me a station. I got an iron with it. I mean, it is used. The guy told me that it was used, so that was okay. And I got a soldering station so I can have like those new YouTubers a uh, soldering station uh, with a soldering stand that looks really cool I've never had a soldering station like this but let's check it out oh yeah uh, props my good dude You've replaced the cable, the PVC cable that comes with it, with a silicone cable, so if you accidentally touch it, you won't completely burn through the isolation, because silicone burns at much higher temperatures. Uh, let's, uh, let's assemble it, and then let's turn it on and test it on a few things. Let's first plug it in and hope that nothing will go bang. Okay, that's a, that's a good sign. Let's expand the sponge with some water. Let the sponge expansion commence. Well, it hasn't expanded a lot. I don't actually like to use these sponges. I don't like the idea of wetting my soldering tip. I use these. I use this brass cleaner. Let's see if the station works. And it does. Over here you choose the temperature. Okay, and it's heating, and it's showing you the current temperature. Man, the soldering station is amazing. I've only seen these soldering stations like these in videos, but I've never had one. It's heating up pretty quickly, and that's good. I mean, it's not like eight seconds, but this is pretty fast if you ask me. Okay, it got to 350. And it wasn't lying, it's really 350. First of all, tips like these, man, they gotta go. These tips are garbage. I'm sorry. Let me modify it. Okay, it's modified now. A tip like this is endlessly more useful than a simple pointy flat tip because you can use this side the side or whatever you like and you can also use the tip to heat up small surfaces so it's good now does this many of you will cry that soldering stations like these don't have a standby switch well they do actually boom stand by and the heating is going to stop until it gets to 200 c and believe it or not, 200C is standby for it. So it's going to prolong the longevity of your tip and everything. Let's test it on some simple circuits. Dude, you know who you are. Thank you very much. This is an absolutely amazing soldering station. And I'm really grateful for it. Um, if you watched my previous video, you would know that I've been an idiot. And I needed a soldering station that is much better than the last one I had. So... This, this takes the cake, it's, it's amazing. 
Um, let me just test it first before I raise it to heavens. Uh, I'm gonna solder some header pins on my new nano chips that I got. Let me set up the shot. Okay, I'm gonna quickly test the soldering station by soldering some header pins. I know that that's not really a test, but it is what I have to do. So let's let's turn up the temperature to 300 and let it rise. It's 260, 280, 290, 300. Nice. Let's see. I'm gonna bump it, bump it to 350. Okay. Let's commence the soldering. Boom. That pin is done, voltage in. And this pin. That pin is also done. Great. Okay, good. Great. Okay, what I do like about this soldering station is when you use it, it has adaptive heating. So this is going to start glowing much faster when I start dissipate, to dissipate the heat. Let's solder the rest of the header pins. This should be a much better shot. Let me, uh, re let me replace the tip. Because this one is good for micro soldering, but not good enough for any other type of soldering. Let me replace the tip. I put a new handle on it, and you might remember this tip as the fallen angel tip. The tip from the soldering iron I've destroyed. <sighs> Let's wait for it to heat up a bit. And let's finish this job. And it melts solder. Good. Okay, good. This is another handle that I got from AliExpress. And this is actually the way I fully intend to use this iron. I'm going to just be replacing the handles. One is going to be for micro soldering. And one is going to be just for regular old soldering. Let's see. It loses quite a lot of heat. This handle is not that good. Okay. Okay. It's thermal transfer is not that well. So yeah, it's a bad quality Chinese soldering, soldering handle. Okay, let's just inspect the joints. They look pretty cool, they look pretty shiny. They're really good. Okay. They're looking good. Let me see the other. The other microcontroller. The joints look really good. Really well soldered, shiny. In conclusion, 
I love this soldering station and it's very good and it's not only better than what I currently have it's better than any soldering station I've ever had I tried to use this aftermarket handle on it uh, this iron but it seems like it's not calibrated for it and this iron was really cheap um, yeah it was priced at I think four bucks it's really well calibrated for this iron and this iron that came with it is much heavier than the aftermarket one so I'm probably gonna stick to this one and I'm just gonna change the tips as needed so that is it truth be told guys if the guy wasn't selling it for a ridiculously low price I wouldn't even consider this one because uh, soldering stations like these can cost me up to fifty dollars and he gave me for less than 20 he gave me for 18 thank you my dude uh, God bless you seriously thanks for for such a great tool as this one I like it it's good if you can get it for a similar price get it uh, get it used the guy told me this one is practically new and uh, I believed him and now I believe him even more because it's really good the iron is used but barely uh, the station I don't care how much it was used it it's I hope it serves me really well the truth of the matter is had he not put it up for 18 bucks I wouldn't even look at a soldering station like this because for 40 to 50 bucks you can get t12 type soldering stations and i do plan to get a soldering station like that because this is a very good soldering station with a very good soldering iron but the problem is not the station itself the problem is the way that iron the soldering iron delivers power to the tip the station heats up heats up the heating element the heating element heats up the tip and then the tip transfers the heat where you want it or slash need it and there is a fundamental problem when it comes to soldering like this is when you have a huge ground plane and of course nobody's gonna solder on a wrench but bear with me when you have a huge ground plane the moment you touch the iron that is uh, at about uh, three to four hundred degrees that heat's gonna dissipate really fast the station itself wouldn't be able to deliver that much power to help the iron recover fast enough and that is not the station's fault it is just the way that the tip is designed so I do plan on buying a T12 type soldering station this is gonna, this is gonna be my station for almost everything I need but when this one drops the ball, the Z12 soldering station is going to pick up where this one falls. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry you had to endure my sexy very white voice. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to be back uh, with hopefully that new soldering station. And I'm sorry that um, my channel has currently become the soldering iron channel. But the problem is that to do any type of good electronics and any good type of electronic repair work you need tools you need good tools you don't need expensive tools but you do need good tools and I'm currently at the point where I'm searching for such tools and I'm just finding out what works and what doesn't this is the best looking soldering station I've ever had and its design is really really useful what I really do plan to do with it is put my hot air rework station on it. So like this, I have useful tools ready to go. A hot air station, a soldering station, a soldering iron, and that's good enough for me. I'm probably gonna glue this on or use double sided tape or something. I don't want it to wobble like this. But this is what I really plan to do with it. Thanks for watching everybody, and again, bye bye.